What's up, everybody in the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970, and as always, thanks for taking the time to check out my video. All right, guys, I want to talk about one of the reasons why I'm starting to do some of the videos about organic products. Basically, the more you research and the more you understand what's going on, you understand that governments throughout the world, whether you want to believe it or not, is irrelevant. But either when they put toxic chemicals in your foods, waters, cleaners, every product you can imagine, they are either incompetent in what they're doing or they're doing it for a reason. Either way is not good. Because if they don't know what they're doing, then do you really want these people in charge of regulating what can go in your food, what can go in your water, what can go in your laundry detergent, etc., etc.? Or if they're doing it on purpose, well, if you think of all the different types of things, the fluoride in the water, the um, chlorine that they put in the water, the chemicals they put in soap. I'll give you an example, and I'm not going to give any name brand here, but this is one of the soaps my wife I bought for my wife before I knew all this stuff. It's one of those supposed to be moisturizer type of fancier soaps. Listen to the ingredients. Sodium taloate, sodium cocate, sodium um, palm carlinate, water. They use fragrance, so if you're allergic to fragrance, that's not going to help your skin. Sodium chloride, you really should look that up. Titanium dioxide, and so on and so on. And these are things that when you're rubbing it on your body, it absorbs into the pores of your skin. I mean, you're talking about, like, for example, just the simple thing of chloride um, bleach in your water. They say they use a little bit of it, so this way it will clean the water. Now, I can understand where people say, well, it's just a little bit, I'll be fine. Well, I don't want you to do this, but just imagine if you're sitting there about to drink a cup of coffee and somebody takes an eardrop full of poison and drops about 10 drops in your coffee. And you say, well, what are you doing? Why are you putting poison in my coffee? Just imagine if they turn around and said to you with a serious face, well, it's only a little bit, so go ahead and drink it. Would you drink it? Of course you wouldn't, unless you have a death wish. So when people justify things by saying, well, they only put a little bit of this stuff in our food and a little bit of this stuff in our water, that doesn't make it right. Toxins make you sick. You're putting different chemicals like with soaps and shampoos and lipstick and lip gloss and makeup for women and all these different things with all of these petroleum ingredients and different harmful chemicals that get absorbed into your skin. You have genetically modified foods. You have all of these coincidences or done on purpose with the sole purpose of not killing you, but to make you sick, make you depressed, make you not want to be motivated to maybe fight the system or learn about the system and try and better yourselves. We become so dependent on the government taking care of us. How many people grow their own food? How many people will make their own products? You know, I'm making, you know, and I'm showing people how to do it. These, these are or, or, organic deodorants, organic lip balms. So I'm going to do a video about the deodorants soon. Uh, the organic... There you go, just still in the in the package of uh, organic soaps. It's better for you. I've already had, I've only been using this stuff for about a week. And I've already had people at the spa that I work at at my massage office already telling me my skin looks better. I feel healthier. And I actually gave some free samples out to people. And they're amazed at the difference. So some people may not appreciate this stuff. I mean, what I talk about is not going to be for everybody. These are for the people who want to be independent of the system. Because if you have to rely on corporations to manufacture all your food, to manufacture all your products, because it is a matter of convenience. They take advantage of people by using convenience. And that's why when you think about things like the welfare system, it's a good idea, but done totally improper because basically what it motivates people to do is to be lazy now i'm not saying everybody on the welfare system is lazy i mean there are people who deserve it i have a person i, I don't know how many people know this 
But I have a handicapped gentleman I let live upstairs. He's been a friend of the family since either 1980 or 1981. So he's almost family at this point. And he had a stroke about four or five years ago. He weighs about 400 to 500 pounds. He lost control of half of his body. It, it, he can't really walk. He can't really speak because half the time he tries to talk, he, he, his brain basically is half shut down. So he stops in the middle and, and he gets really upset. So his family disowned him and I let him stay here. So I have to bring him to places like the welfare office to make sure he gets a social security checks because they keep screwing him all the time. And I help him with getting food for him. I go food shopping for him. These are the type of people that need welfare or even a single parent. Either it's either it's a, a mother or a father that has kids that they're raising and they're the sole source of income. Those are the people who might need that help. But let me tell you something. When I bring him to the welfare office to help him with any problems that he ends up getting, probably 90% of the people that are there could easily work. I mean, they're all sitting there on their fancy phones, having their fancy jackets with their very expensive shoes, bragging about very expensive rims they have on their cars. And this is not any particular race. This is all races, men and women as well. And they just basically are taking advantage of the system. So governments condition us to say, here, we're going to give you everything. Just trust us. And this is a question I want you to ask anybody, even the most loyalist person to any government around the world. Have that person or persons name 10 people in their entire lifetime that they know that work in any branch of government that you would say were honorable and full of integrity in their entire lifetime that they've been on this planet. I bet you they'd be difficult having difficulty getting five people. And we hear nothing but scandal after scandal, lie upon lie, misinformation after misinformation, and yet we still put our trust in these people. These are the people that may not make the food, but they approve what gets in it. They might, may not be the responsible for putting chemicals in the water, but they approve what gets put in there. It's basically the whole thing um, with the Roman um, emperor when the whole story about murdering of Jesus, what did he do? Washed his hands and let the other people do it. So this is what government does. They wash their hands on it, but they're solely responsible because they take nothing but bribes from corporations so they could profit off of the fact that they get you sick. And if you look at the medical field and you look at Obamacare, which is nothing more than uh, a way to insure people that weren't insured before, it's a scam and it's a business because for hospitals and doctors and pharmaceutical companies to make money, they need customers. So do you think they're really going to mind some kind of chemical in your food, your water, in the air, in your washing detergent, in your soaps that could make you sick? Well, it brings them business. So some people, I can see by the amount of few views on these videos that most people don't care about them. Well, if you don't care about what you put in your body, how about caring what you put in your children's body or your loved one's bodies? Do you really want to trust governments that have, have a known history of being dishonorable, lying, selfish, corporate, bed-sleeping individuals? If you want to put your trust in those people, that's your choice. But you know what? You may want to think twice about what you're putting in your children's bodies. I mean, look at the ingredients of stuff in McDonald's, like how they put petroleum in chicken McNuggets. Yes, petroleum. That's a fuel product. Put a ham, Take a hamburger, a cheeseburger, or french fries, leave it on a counter, and don't touch it for months, for years. It will not mold. Animals, you could put that out. Animals won't even touch it. And these are things you're putting in your body. And guess what? It's cheap. So they purposely make all this garbage food very accessible to the average person. And that's why when you see people on welfare, because when my... Um, when his name is Barry, but when he needs to go food shopping and he has his food stamps and I take him to go, it's usually on the first of the month when everybody's doing it. And you could see the people that are on welfare because they're buying all the cheapest products, all the no frills sodas and garbage food because it's cheap. 
and they put all the chemicals in those in those foods the genetically modified foods all the different types of different harmful chemicals that most of us don't even know of because we just take it take it uh, for granted what the ingredients are we don't ever research them and they help to make us sick they help to make us depressed and we have this medicine that they sell to us that if you see all the side effects they don't exactly lead you confidence that you want to look forward to taking these things. I mean, some of these things have more side effects than they do the cure. And when you take a pill, for example, for arthritis, where one of the possible side effects is possible death, it's almost funny if it wasn't tragic. And yet people will put this in their bodies. So I'm trying to help educate people. I'm trying to show people that you can get your independence back. People are so afraid of being independent. That's why they allow corrupt governments around the world to continue to take advantage of them. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I have all the answers. But the less I become needing a government and corporations to provide for me, the more independent I become and the less hold they will have on me. That is why people may not like the type of things that I sell, which, by the way, I don't put a gun to anybody's head, and people that purchase them from me, I've gotten nothing but rave reviews for the dedication that I put into my products. But they're organic, they are from nature, and it's my own business. I'm not working for 7-Eleven. I'm not working for McDonald's. I don't work at Walmart. I don't work at Barnes & Noble. I don't work for Wall Street. I work for myself working as hard as I can, doing things that I love. Yes, it's for fiat dollars, but until somebody comes up with something else, I mean, you know, let's not be hypocrites here. The ones that point fingers, I'd love to know what they do for a living and how they get paid. But people love to judge. So I'm doing my part. I'm trying to help those who really want to become more independent because that's what it really boils down to. It's not the fact that I have lip balm and you're thinking, oh, that's metrosexual or something. No, it's a product that's all natural that you can make in your own home with ingredients that are not poisoning you. People need to understand this stuff. If you want to be dependent on a, a government to, pre to prepare your foods, prepare your water, and be responsible for wars and all the debts, then why complain? If you are not going to get out of the system as much as you can, and, and realistically, you can't get out 100%. It's, it's just not feasible at this time. But if you're working for Wall Street, if you're investing in stocks, if you're making votes for these criminals, if you're waving the flag every time some military goes to fight a war and steals other people's resources, then you're part of the problem. If that makes you angry, don't be angry at me for pointing it out. Be angry at yourself. So I'm doing my little parts by trying to get out of the system. That's why I don't work for corporations. That's why I'm getting less and less food from corporations. My wife and I now go to farmer's markets. We're going to little mom and pop stores. I'm buying ingredients from individuals and making them myself. I'm going to have a lot of different videos from organic bug spray, which is better for your skin and better for the environment. Um, the deodorants that actually you can apply this stuff and you don't even need any more for a day or two. That's how good this stuff is. And you're not putting chemicals under where your glands are, inside, seeping inside your body. I'm going to have dishwashing soap, laundry detergent. And these are things you could save tons of money for. When I make the laundry detergent video and I'm just waiting for some of the supplies to come in, it will cost you probably about... $10 for all the ingredients you're going to need, maybe 20 tops, depending if you buy in bulk, and it will make enough to last 50 years. If you want to be dependent on the system, that's fine. But especially like the, the people who are always attacking and ridiculing what I do, I would love to know what they're doing to better the environment. Because all these things are nothing more. Like, for example, and I keep saying this because this is right in front of me, these lip balms, and it's the video I made just yesterday, are basically about 90% made of edible products. The only thing that you can't eat is the beeswax. So if you took out the beeswax in this, this is 100% edible. So you're doing good for your body. The same thing like with the soaps, because when you clean yourself, it goes down into the drain, it goes into the environment. And we wonder why things are getting polluted. 
When you wash your clothes with all the chemicals they put in them, it goes into the water system, or at least potentially can. And if you don't think governments don't make accidents, well, you don't know about oil spills that happen almost on a regular basis these days. I'm doing my part. I want you to do your part. But again, it boils down to, do you want to be taken care of, or are you strong enough to take care of yourself? I may not be living large, like the people in the mainstream media will say. I'm not making millions of dollars living like a king. But you know what? My skin is already healthier. I feel more energetic. I'm putting better foods in my body. I'm leaving less of a trace on the planet. That's doing good. If that's what people want to hate me for, that's perfectly fine. But for the rest of you that appreciate this stuff, just think about it means more than just having a fancy soap. It's about putting better things in your body. It's about taking charge of your life and stop being dependent on a system that is meant to screw you, lie to you, and take advantage of you. It's been happening for centuries. Do you want to really have all the dependence in the world from a government that is at the very least not helping you and the very most doing what it can to make you sick enough to profit off of you? If you like being cattle, don't complain when you get slaughtered. There's different ways to be slaughtered. The illusion of freedom. Thanks for watching, guys. If you appreciate this, give it a thumbs up, share it, watch it with a friend. And uh, if you're not part of the Barnum Nation, hit the subscribe button. Because here, I may not get everything right. I may mess up every now and then. But my integrity is to try and help. If you appreciate stuff like that, we want you on the part of this channel. So thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.